Quick reminder, make sure you guys sub to the InfraPlays channel. I upload every single day to this channel. Have tons of games up here like Persona, Devil May Cry, Yakuza, Ghost of Tsushima, and tons more games. Also made a games document list that's in the description of every single video, where you can pretty much just see upcoming games I'm going to be playing for the channel, and also get access to any game that I've played in the past with the simple press of a button. And also, I sometimes do polls to let you guys pick the next game. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope to see you there. Alright, so welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're playing some Anime Switch. Now, if you don't know what Anime Switch is, Anime Switch is one of the games that was in my upcoming Roblox anime games in 2023. And obviously, it's 2024, so the game got delayed. And the game is finally releasing next Friday. Now, if you don't know what Anime Switch is, Anime Switch is a game based off, in my opinion, I think Bleach Brave Souls, because it takes heavy inspiration from that game because of the top down camera view. Uh, you basically play through waves of mobs and then you fight bosses and stuff, and you unlock multiple units from banners and all that stuff. It basically plays like Bleach Brave Souls. That's pretty much the best way I can pretty much put it for you guys to understand the game and you clearly see that since it's top-down camera view now the game is mobile compatible and console compatible and it releases next friday on the 26th so uh yeah that's pretty much all the information i have for you guys i'm about to try out the game here today in this video make sure you guys hit the sub button like the video if you guys want to see more content on this game i'm going to give you guys my thoughts towards the end of the video because i have not tried out the game yet but we're gonna try it out right now so yeah without further ado let's hop right into it all righty let's try this game out okay i don't know what i'm expecting honestly uh, since it's based off Bleach Brave Souls, I'm expecting a lot of hack and slash, but uh, that's to be expected, of course. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, I don't know what to do first. I definitely want to hurry up and get into the gameplay because I want to save for as much time for the gameplay as possible. But uh, menu and stuff looks pretty basic. Ooh, this UI is really nice. Oh, there's gonna be codes. Oh, I have a controller plugged in, so that's why it has like button and stuff on it. Uh, let's see, inventory, capsule court machine, with a fit range chair, mounts, all sorts of mounts and stuff, that's cool. Uh, let's see what they got in here. How much are these? Uh, one Vertacoin, I don't know what Vertacoins are for, but one Vertacoin is 25 Robux. These are diamonds, coins, boosts, you guys want to see the prices and stuff. Where's the banner at? Uh, I need to find that for sure. Summon, here it is. Ooh, okay, uh, what do they got in here? Okay, how much thingies do I have? I have 120. Let me see if there's any codes on. Alrighty, okay, I used those codes real quick. The first code was anime switch on top, another one was 500 jumps. I don't think they're gonna be available on launch still, so like, I mean, I don't know if you guys should try redeeming one that's out. Um, okay, anyways, uh, let's roll real quick before we play the game, because, you know, I need me some broken. <laughs> I need me some broken. TN? Goten? TN? Why is Goten in the band? That's funny. TN's a rare? Uh, okay. Wait, why did he name him Goten, even though Goten... I guess that's supposed to be Goku, but they just named him Goten. I don't know, dude. Uh, let's do one more temple. Or whatever it's called. Zoro, Goten... Nah, that's Goku. Why did they name him Goten? <laughs> oh, we got Killua. Nice. Oh, we got two Killuas. Epic. Uh, so that's an epic, unique, and then there's Mystic. Oh, wow. Yikes. Uh, okay, whatever. Twisted, what is this? A life the kid. Oh, this is a different banner. Oh wait, did I spit on the wrong banner? I should have went for kid. Rad Star Bakame, Life the Kid. Okay, I don't know who some of these dudes are because there's no pictures. <laughs> That's a little annoying because their names aren't what they are in the anime, so like it's weird to tell. Whatever. Anyways, um let me put uh ooh, these are the switches. They're called switches in this game. Merge. We can merge these. Merge selected switches. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh wait, what? Users been restricted. Wait, what? Unit has been restricted for testing that. Oh, wow, I merged them and now I can't use them. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I can't even use them. That's so sad, bro. I can't use my Killua because it's restricted for some reason right now. Whatever. Anyway, let's play the game. <laughs> let's AFK World is mounts. Uh, let's press play. Dock Island. Well, Cut Island, my bad. Uh, create. Stage one. Let's get it. <laughs> Damn, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I pulled a unit, but they, they used it during testing or something like that. He's probably not done yet, that's why. Alrighty, okay, let's see. So it's controls are Q and E to switch. Oh, this is cool. Um, space is for dashing, and one through four are your abilities. Okay, simple control scheme. Damn, I have so much lined up. Um, let's try Zoro. Looks like a little spin thing. Yeah, it just plays literally just like Bleach Brave Souls. Like, I, I get Bleach Brave Souls vibes as I'm playing this game. So I'm going to bring it up a lot, even though I know a lot of you guys are going to get sick of me bringing it up. But, I mean, they're both hack and slash games, so how would I not? Holy crap, these dudes are running. There we go. And dead. 
The map looks really nice. Whoever made their maps did a really, really good job. It kind of feels like it's the same map maker, map maker from uh, Pocket Anime, but I could be wrong. I don't know. But, and that combat is huge. I did like no damage though. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, what was that? <laughs> it was a box. <laughs> okay, there are some bugs. <laughs> It definitely is bugs, but this is why we test games before dropping them, right? God damn. <laughs> Turn into a damn box. What was that? Oh, God. That beam is easy to miss. It's very tiny. All right. I wish I could use my killer, though. But I can't use my killer, unfortunately. Let's try Ichigo. Get to go. That does some pretty good damage. Um, Wait, why is it switching my unit? I didn't press. What? That's weird. I, I didn't press Q or E, so I don't know why I was switching. Or maybe I did press it. There we go. Symphony Descent. That's what the move is called. All right, that's one down. Uh, yeah, this beam literally plays just like Bleach Brave Souls. What does that meter thing do? Oh, it says Awaken G. I don't think my character has an awakening. Oh, that's so sad. I guess only certain characters can awaken. I definitely need to change the binds because I keep dashing with Q, but Q is to change. That's why I keep switching characters on mistake. I thought it was because uh, I was I was just not pressing it, but no, I'm subconsciously pressing it. But I just gotta remember that Q is not dashing. Uh, it's actually space to dash. But uh, can this dude die? There we go. Oh, that missed. Okay, that move is pretty trash. Uh, it seems that this character doesn't have an awakening. Who has an awakening? Goku have an awakening? Well, Koten. Oh, now he's called Koten. Okay. Uh, name changed in the damn thing compared to the banner. What the hell? <laughs> what? Yeah, none of these characters I'm playing as have awakenings, unfortunately. That's so sad. Maybe Killua does, but I mean, I can't use my Killua. I'll try out different characters throughout the video. Um, but there seems to be like an attack wheel, just like... Uh, most gacha games do what most mobile games do uh as you can see he had like a little blue archery symbol above his head uh this one has a red symbol and i'm guessing there's probably like type advantages and stuff there's like a type chart it's probably one more which is like green or something or yellow but none of these units have it so far or maybe i could be wrong these might just be the difference between like physical units and range units it might be something like that some games do it some games don't not enough usage to perform this skill. What usage? Oh, wait. Is there an energy? Oh, there is an energy meter. Wait, why? That's a little annoying. There's like, you see that blue bar next to my health bar or under my health bar? You need to keep M1ing uh, to fill up that bar or else you can't use skills. Instead of skills just going on cooldown. I don't think that needs to be a thing in the game, but whatever. It just kind of annoying. I was like, what? The skills off cooldown? Why can't I use the skill? It's like they're trying to force you to M1 in a hack and slash skill spammy game. I don't I don't feel the need for the blue bar, but whatever. Blue bar is a little like unnecessary in my opinion. It's it's a hack and slash skill spammy game. Why are we running away from that? It's not like this game we have like PvP or something. I don't see a reason to add this. Oh god. Damn, Kamehameha does like no damage. This move is booby cheeks. There we go. Oh, they did some pretty good damage. Getsuga, and let's finish him off with Zoro. Bull Demon. Uh, why is the Bull Demon not working? Oh, I'm in hit stun. There we go. Nice. Oh, I was ragdolled. What was that? <laughs> okay. So far, I mean, that, that one went pretty smooth, but that blue bar is a little worrying. I don't think that needs to be in the game at all, honestly. If a skill is off, quit on just let him use the skill. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not what the blue bar does. But there was no tutorial, so I'm assuming that's what the blue bar does because I wasn't able to use skills until that blue bar was filled up. Let's go back to the lobby. Let's switch out some more units and then uh, probably go back into another one. Wait, I'm not done. Wait, why, why am I still here? Oh, it sent me to the next area or a level instantly. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. It sends you straight into the next level. You don't have to like go back to the hub or whatever. I mean, that's not bad. But yeah, so far uh, with my first 10 minutes of playing, my only uh, worry, I guess I can say, is the blue bar. It's gonna be another anime showdown situation where like the blue bar just got like unnecessary and ended up getting annoying instead of being good for the game. I feel like a lot of people are gonna complain about it. But uh, I mean, that's the only complaint I have so far with this gameplay. The gameplay, uh, it's literally Bleach Brave Souls. But my only complaint is that blue bar. Um, I wish one of my characters had an awakening. I want to use the awakening feature. And the fact that you can play this together with friends is pretty cool as well because uh, I think you can co-op with up to like four people on missions doing this. I mean, obviously I'm solo for this video. I could have called one of my friends to do the video together, but just an option for if you guys want to play with friends. You can do that in this game, which is really nice. Oh, wait, there's a little potion on the floor that fills up the blue bar as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's ways to fill up the blue bar other than just... Um, uh, well, being out of combat because it's it's passively regening. I don't know if it regens in combat, but let me see. Is it regening? Oh yeah, okay. It passively regens a little bit. I just feel like it doesn't need to be in the game though. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Do you guys like the blue bar? Or do you guys hate it? I don't know. I just feel like it's just unnecessary. But maybe they have it for a reason. I don't know. We'll see. We got to keep playing more though. 
find out but so far I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this game it looks beautiful it plays pretty well as well it doesn't play like laggy or as buggy as i figured it'd be it actually plays pretty smooth so i think this game can do pretty well and if you're bored and you need something to play i mean play this game it's a nice little time sink it's a hack and slash game and if you love stuff like that then this would probably be perfect for you and the game looks beautiful and it plays pretty well can i just show this oh no i can't just show this it's just a nice fun time sink and you can play this with friends to pass time which is really nice and also it's available on all platforms <laughs> what the hell is that is that a what is that i don't know which anime that mob is from but okay dude's getting shredded though god damn oh this guy has a little red boss symbol that we said oh that's cool all right i'm gonna go back to the lobby now oh they're leveling up nice okay let's return i gotta say i am impressed i like it it's not a bad concept at all it actually plays pretty well and i think it's a solid game but there will be people that don't enjoy these types of games because they don't really enjoy time sinks but i think this is a pretty solid game to play on stream and i could just literally just chill past time playing with friends and stuff and just having random conversations and stuff i feel like this is a solid game uh let me switch out um can i really not use killua damn that's unfortunate let me switch out um this Goku and let's put Tien in and damn they don't have modes. Uh, lightning palm view awakened. Oh he doesn't have an awakening either. Oh wait no he does have an awakening. Oh yeah he's the only one with an awakening. Damn that's unfortunate. I can't showcase it or look at the awakening stuff. But I mean at least we know it's in the game. Oh my camera's bottom view now. What the hell happened? Instead of top what the. Yo, what? How did that happen? Oh, is this supposed to be like this? My pity is 0 out of 50. My camera is normal now. This feels so weird. <laughs> oh, this is a safe stone. What is this? Uh, cut island. Wait, I can't see it. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a bug. <laughs> that's a genuine bug. I was about to say, why is my camera normal now? <laughs> okay. Uh, characters evolve Ichigo. So I need these regular Marines to evolve my Ichigo. Okay. Oh, there's traits. Uh-oh. Let's see what this is about. Oh, so characters can roll traits and you can reroll it with the tokens. I see. Uh, I don't know what that trait stuff is at the moment because I don't know what each trait does, but uh, let me see if I can check. Hold on. Switches. Uh, someone's going to make a trait chart, obviously. I don't know where to check it up. All I see is like the upgrade tab. I don't see like, yeah, upgrade tab where you can put your stats in. Combat strength, usage, a lot of. This will increase your switch's energy, which will allow you to use skills more often. Oh, that's why they have that as a feature. Overall switch's damage and performance. Ah, I see. So this is skill spam stuff. This is for skills. Uh, this is for punching. And this is for, like, more energy to skill spam. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I guess that's the reason why they have it in the game. It still doesn't really seem important to me, honestly. But I, I don't know. I still feel like it's useless. Um, you join too much attention. What is this? You're going to have your first time get out of the way. What is this? Is this a quest or something? Uh, we have a huge problem. Parties, but oh, you can't go in there. This is AFK World. There's the play button. Fishing. There's fishing. Travel. Sea Stone. Trait Roller. John Evolution. Let's go to the fishing place. You actually fish in this game, or is this not done yet? I don't know how to fish. It says you can fish here. <laughs> it doesn't work yet, though. I think I don't know. Uh, oh, I have a mount. Oh, that's a bug. I'm invisible now. I like right clicked on this. <laughs> Oh, that's a funny bug but anyway uh i think now we just play a little bit more and i'll probably call it here uh, i think i've gotten a good gist of how this game plays and what it's supposed to be uh it basically does play like your average uh gotcha roblox game but with a twist since it's like top down camera view what is this Ooh, is this like some like uh okay oh so there's different islands let's see what's at the central island it basically has like the gotcha aspect of like anime adventures or all-star tower defense with like the traits and all that stuff but um it's its own gameplay loop since it's like um top down camera view hack and slash so like if you wanted that formula of like gotcha game on roblox but with like a different gameplay loop or way of playing then this is your game um is there anything i can do here i don't think there's anything i can do here that's unfortunate uh i don't think this i don't know what you're supposed to do here the gates closed and whatnot but uh, yeah, I think this game is pretty good, though. I think this is a pretty solid concept, and I think this game could be pretty successful, honestly. But it just depends on if they uh, randomly fumble or if people like it or not. I think people are going to like this game, but we'll have to just wait and see. The banner is about to refresh, so depending on what's on the banner, I'll, I'll summon one more time. Let me see what's on the banner. Let's see what's on it. What? It refreshed and it put the same things on it. Oh, it put all oh, laws in here now. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh... Oh, they got a comma in the game? Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm going to summon on this banner, uh, the Twisted banner. Oh, this is, what is this gadgets thing? Oh, these are mounts? Oh, mounts, figurines, chairs. Oh, this is cool. Uh, I'm going to summon on the little uh, Twisted banner. I want to see if I can get a comment, so let's try it. I'll do two 10 pulls. It is only 50? Oh, that's actually pretty generous. Mm, I don't know if it saves if you leave the game, though. Let's see. Uh, oh, what the hell? Why is she different now? <laughs> 
And uh, I didn't realize my camera was on. My camera was supposed to be on, but uh, it's on now. Tien, Nami, Zoro, Goten, Nami. Doesn't seem like I'm getting what I want. Um, Nami. Uh, wow. Okay. The pity is out of 50, so like that's pretty generous, I'd say. Uh, let's do one more 10 pool. Uh, I don't. Wait, what are the chances? 9%. Wait, that's generous as hell. Wait, these rates are actually pretty good for like a gotcha game on Roblox. I say these rates are pretty good. Hold on, let me see the regular. Uh, where is it? Oh, you can't see the rates on this one though. What the hell? I can only see the chances on the twisted, but not the regular. I don't know. It's weird. But, um, I really should have put the luck thingy on, but I don't know how to do it. Hold on. Let's see, boost, uh, there's nothing in here. Diamonds, there's nothing in here. Okay, I guess the boost stuff doesn't work yet. It just does not work yet, or it's not in the game yet. It's not done. Okay, I'll do one more 10 pool, and then we'll play one more match, and I'll call it. All right, twisted, let's see it, 10 pool. I probably won't get anything, because my luck is trash, but at least the pity is not that bad. Nami, oh, I got Killua again. I can't even use him. Oh, I got Chaozu? What the hell? Killua again. Oh, I got gone. I got epic, nice. Hey, we actually got something pretty good. Uh, that's actually pretty solid. Um, it seems this twisted banner is way better than this regular banner, unless like there's a unit on here that you really, really want. Um, let's see switches. Uh, where's my gone? Oh, here he is. What else? I was about to say I thought I was gonna say I can't use it. Uh, gone. Nice. I can use my gone. So I really just can't use Killua. Yeah, Killua is literally restricted by law. I guess I got a law and I wasn't paying attention, but whatever. Okay, uh, let's try this loadout. Um, let's take out Ichigo and let's put Sanji in. Sure, we can use Sanji. Okay, we use all these dudes. Anyone have an awakening? Nobody has an awakening here, bro? Y'all are trolls. So Killua actually has an awakening, but these dudes don't. Or maybe you have to upgrade them. Or no, 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 where's the... Uh, I probably have to go to the Evolve NPC. Hold on. Talk to this evolutionary guy. What rewards do I need to? Okay, so these are the three that can evolve. Uh, Y'all look same thing on the picture though. It's literally the exact same thing to just rarity increase. This up. one has the black leg on it. Uh, this one's this one goes from time skip to the black leg. Um, and this one just says release. Okay. So I need these units to, to awaken this one. God damn, this one's way more for Sanji instead of this. Whatever. All right, let's play one more round and try out these new characters. It sucks that I didn't get to use the little awakening thing, but it is what it is. Create three. Uh, let's actually no no. I'm gonna go up to the to the boss phase. Let's go up to five. I'll probably play four off camera though. Okay, I put a room up. Oh, just slash everybody in the room. Blade wave. Oh, it's just a barrage. Or it's like a little not barrage. It's like a little slash projectile thingy. Let's try out gun. Oh, I pressed the wrong key. Uh, Riptide slam. What? I can't use the skill. Oh, you can't use the skill while in hit stun. Ah, that's weird. I, I would figure in a hack and slash game, hit stun stuff wouldn't really matter here. This is not like a PvP game, but whatever. Yeah, if you're in hit stun, you can't use skills. Uh, or you can't switch either. Uh, table kick. Let's try this too. Oh, damn. That was a lot of damage. Sanji's actually pretty good. What is that in symbol? Is that like a speech symbol above his head? Okay, so there's way more typings in this game than I thought, it seems. Uh, yeah, does he really not have an awakening? Just pressing G with all the characters. Yeah, they don't have awakens. This is so sad. I really wanted to use the awakening feature, but the only character I have that can awaken, I can't use. <laughs> he's not done yet. Why would I even put him in the game if he's not done yet? What? Wait, didn't I do this stage already? Why am I on area two instead of three? Did I press the wrong one? Oh no. Okay, there we go. All seems to be pretty good, especially when it comes to AOE. So this is pretty nice. I wonder how this game's gonna do though. I think this game will be just fine, but like I don't know. Roblox is really weird when it comes to stuff. Like, you'll see, like, a game that's really good sometimes just get no players because it just doesn't have enough exposure. So, I hope this video does give it some decent exposure because I think this is a pretty decent, solid game. I don't think this is a bad game, and I don't think it's, like, anything that's crazy good. I just think it's something to play, and it's solid. And I definitely think a lot of people will like a game like this since you can play something like this with friends, and it's a really good time sink. But, I don't know. Roblox works in a mysterious way sometimes, so, like... You will, like I said, see games that are like really underrated, and even after getting exposure, it just doesn't mesh well with Roblox players because majority of Roblox players are kids, so like uh, that stuff is like really weird stuff that they like and stuff that they don't like. <laughs> I don't think the game's gonna hit front page or nothing, but I don't know, maybe, maybe it will. Never know what happened. Are we gonna find Buggy? They're looking for me. Let me see if my sword will work on Buggy. It'd be crazy if they made the sword not work on Buggy. Let me see if my sword actually works on this dude. Oh, it works. I was about to say. <laughs> it would have been funny if it didn't work on him. Uh, there we go. Let's 
after a rush barrage. It seems characters have like a random amount of skills. Some characters have two, some characters have three. Or I guess Law only has two. Since he only technically has two damaging skills. But um there we go. Nice. Riptide slam. Oh, you can't hit him when he's like that. This game does have some weird aspects to it. Because you think in a hack and slash game, it wouldn't matter if you're using a skill while you're getting hit. All right, there we go. Uh, we are done. All right. Uh, I was going to do another stage, but this video is getting too long. Uh, I was going to go up to five. I want to see if there's like some boss there. Because I'm pretty sure there are bosses in this game. Because in the trailer, I saw um, Toji fighting like uh, Colossal Titan or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, this game seems pretty solid. I don't think it's a bad game at all. I think this game would be just fine. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and try it out. It comes out for free next week. I don't think it's going to be paid access. I could be wrong, though, but I'm pretty sure it'll be free. And it's going to be available on all platforms. So, I mean, it's a solid game to try out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for me. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that. Uh, I'll probably play this game more on stream. I'm not too sure if I do video on games like this because I typically don't. But like, if there's a cool unit, I will. But I don't know. It just depends. But uh, I definitely want to get um, I want to get kid. I want to get kid. And I want to get a comment, so I might do that off camera or something. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, my camera bugged again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. I'll catch y'all boys later. Take care, guys.